Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Twitter API with Flash. So I have created a Twitter account. You can see it here, River City Graphics, without the I because it was too many characters long. And then uh, at the bottom of the page we're going to click on API. <coughs> Loading a little slow here. Then we're going to go to Twitter API documentation. Then um, pretty much here you have everything you're going to need to make a Twitter application. Uh, statuses, users, uh, followers, all kinds of stuff. But we're going to be using uh, statuses slash user timeline today. So click on that and then it's got examples of uh, different ways you can use the code. Um, right here is a uh, screen name which is what we're going to be using today. It's going to have uh, River City Graphics right here. Um, and it's going to bring in this XML data that's down here. This is an example. Um, and we're going to be singling out this text right here and bringing that into Flash to be displayed. So to start we're going to go to Flash and we're going to uh, make an ActionScript 3 document and then we're just going to grab our text tool make sure it's on uh, dynamic text and then pretty much select whatever you want um, just make sure it's 140 characters um, pretty sure that would be 140 characters um, and then I'm just going to give it an instance name of box so we're going to click on the first frame and then we're going to go to actions and we're just going to start with a stop open close parenthesis semicolon that's going to be our first uh, action there and then we're going to do some import uh, flash.net code to bring in our URL request and URL loader so import space flash oh my gosh import flash.net and then we're going to do URL request first and request and then a semicolon and then let's just copy that up so that uh, make it easy hit enter paste it and then we're just going to change this to loader alright and then we're going to make a variable and we're going to call that i so let's create that and then we're going to have that be a url loader and then space equals space new URL loader. Alright, and we're going to do open close parentheses semicolon. Then we're going to add an event listener to this variable. So add event listener. And that's going to be an event dot complete. It's going to be a complete event. So when this is complete, then it's going to do this function. And loaded is what we're going to call the function. So semicolon to finish that off. Now we're going to uh, actually give it a URL to load. So let's do i dot load open parenthesis new, and then URL re request, and then open parenthesis, and then we're going to add this in later because I have to uh, explain some stuff to you. Um, so I'm just going to leave it like that. It's uh, parenthesis quotation mark quotation mark close parenthesis close parenthesis semicolon and we're going to add that in later. Um, so now we're going to write the function loaded. So function and then loaded and then it's going to be an event and event colon e for event and then colon event and then we're going to have close parenthesis and that's going to be void because there's no information being returned. Open curly bracket close curly or enter a couple times close curly bracket up arrow key. So now we're going to have, uh, we're going to select the uh, event listener and remove it. So we're going to do e dot current and then target with a capital T and then dot remove and then event listener. And then we're going to copy this because this is what we're removing here. Make it easy and paste that in. All right, so now that we have that done, let's uh, make an XML uh, variable. So variable, and then we'll call it XML. Make it easy there. And then colon, XML. And it's going to be a new XML. All right, so now we need an open parenthesis, and it's going to be uh, e dot current target, which the current needs to be uncapitalized and then dot data so we're just going to be bringing in the data um, from this URL up here 
All right, so let's close that parenthesis and hit a semicolon. Hit enter again, a uh, variable, and let's make a list for our XML. So it's gonna be list colon, and then it's gonna be an XML list. All right, space equals space. Wait, I think I had space too many times. Space equals space, and then new XML list. And once we have that, we're gonna do XML. And this is uh, where we have that we need to go from the XML to the status. And then to the text from there. So pretty much it's singling out and then a parenthesis and semicolon. Singling inside the XML, we need to go to the statuses first. And once we find the status, then we need to bring in the text. Now, right here, if we left it, it would, uh, well, it really wouldn't do anything yet. Um, but we need to tell it to put it in the box. So we need box.text. And pretty much if you wanted to put all of them in there, you'd have it append it to it. Uh, but we just want, uh, for this, the purpose of this tutorial, the first one. So we're going to do space equals space, and then list, and then we're going to have the bracket key, and then a zero, and then a bracket key, and then a semicolon. And this is pretty much just going to grab the first uh, status uh, text from the XML. So now it would be working, but um, we don't have, it's not grabbing the text from anywhere. Um, and the reason we need, uh, or the reason I haven't done this yet uh, is because we need to write a PHP script um, because I could take this right here let's uh, let's grab the screen name let's grab the HTML and I could copy that bring it into flash and paste it right there um, but we're gonna need to change this to River City Graphics Remember without the I. Um, so that right now it would work if we uh, if we did it. it should um, bring in the text. Yep, there we go. That's the tweet that I had put, um, and I'm doing what it's saying right now. Um, so it brings it in, but the problem is you're probably like, oh well, why do we need to write a PHP script? Well, the problem is Twitter has it set up so that it doesn't really like it when uh, flash documents take that are on the web take its data and put them into the flash so pretty much we're gonna get around that by writing a PHP script um, and it's gonna bring the data into the PHP script and then flash is gonna take it from the PHP script so we're just getting around what Twitter set up pretty much um, so we're going to write this in Dreamweaver